Hello all, welcome back. And here we are going to discuss about Kruskal's algorithm. So what is the use of Kruskal's algorithm? It is used to find the minimum spanning tree. We already discussed about what is spanning tree and what is minimum spanning tree in our previous video. So if you didn't check it out, just go back and check that uh, video first and then come to this problem. Okay. So here we are going to solve the uh, like uh, this uh, graph okay by applying Kruskal's algorithm and we are going to find the minimum spanning tree for this graph okay and coming to this algorithm this Kruskal's algorithm actually uses edges okay the weights given for the edges and based on that we will be finding the minimum spanning tree so how do we start our process so this uh, the step involved in this Kruskal's algorithm is first we need to sort all these weights okay in an ascending order so how do we sort it so what is the minimum weight we have here that is one so first write down all the weights you have in this graph in a sorted order so the weight minimum weight is one and this weight is between the vertices c and d same way what is the next weight you have that is two that is between D and E. And if you see one more weight we have as 2. So we can also take that weight 2. Which is between the vertices A and D. And then we have 3 between C and B. Then we have 4 between B and E. And there are 4 4's here. So one more 4 between F and C. Right. After that we have one more edge. That is a weight that is 7 between f and a so totally how many edges we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, uh, we left with 11 so 11 is between a and b right so no now we just started all the weights in ascending order first okay after this this is our step one so after this what you need to do you need to choose all these weights in the order okay and you are going to connect your graph right vertices in this order without forming any cycle okay at, at last we will get as minimum spanning tree okay when you repeat this process until the last weight then we will get the minimum spanning tree so before that first let me take all the vertices in the given structure okay so this is the given structure of our graph right so as i said first we are going to consider the first weight that is one which is between c and d so c and d the weight is one okay i have made a connection between c and d with the weight one and what is the next minimum weight we have two between d and e so between d and e there is one more connection with weight two in the same way you have to check for a and d so for a and d the minimum weight is 2 again okay so you need to continue the process and when when you are doing this you have you also want to make sure that you are not going to form any cycle in this okay so that is the main thing you need to consider here and after this 2 what is the next minimum weight i have that is 3 which is between c and b so c and b we have 3 right and what is the next edge we have? That is next weight we have 4. 4 is between B and E. See, if I connect B and E now, then this will form a cycle. So, I cannot connect B and E now. What I am going to do is, I am just going to skip this step. Okay, so I am not going to connect B and E now. I am going to skip this step and I will be going to the next step. And coming to next step, again you have the same weight 4 and which is between F and C. So if I connect F and C, I will not get any cycle here. So I can directly connect F and C with the weight 4. Right? And what is the next weight you have? 7, which is between F and A. So if I connect F and A, again there will be a cycle here. Right? So I shouldn't connect this F and A. I am going to skip this step as well. And then coming to next one that is 11 between A and B. So if I try to connect A and B, again there will be a cycle if I connect this A and B. Because if I connect this A and B, so you can see a cycle forming here. Right? So I am not going to connect this A and B as well. Okay? So I am just skipping this step. Now 
what I have done, I have skipped all these three steps because this step will form a, will create a cycle when you try to make a connection for these vertices. So I just skipped all these and if you count how many vertices we have totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vertices and what is the condition for edges, number of edges should be equal to so total number of vertices minus 1. So here how many edges should be there? 5 edges should be there. If you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we had 5 edges here. So this is satisfying the condition for minimum spanning tree. So you can see we formed a subgraph. Okay, a subgraph is generated from this given graph. Okay, and this subgraph is the minimum spanning tree where there are no cycles and this spanning tree has a minimum weight compared to the remaining spanning tree that can be formed from this uh, graph, given graph.